Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about My Hero Academia season number 7, episode number 13, A Chain of Events Across the Ages. In this episode here, the fight finally starts. It's been a lot of build up here, a lot of waiting, a lot of people, a lot of people got hurt, a lot of some people died in a way. People have come back, things have happened. And Deku was on his way down here, flying as fast as he can, but at the same time, he can go faster, but he can't waste that type of energy doing this right there because the thing is, though, it messed up his body. Pushing his body that hard at this time would have been messed up. So he's trying to get there as fast as he can. And now, um, before we we had we had our military talking to our president, saying, "Hey, we got to do something about this." And even if this, even if this, um, no, we can't. We can't get involved in stuff like that. Too. How about we just take the knee, let them take over, and we will find a way after. You know that we can't do that. We got Akbar that we can't we can't do that. We cannot do that. So now we're seeing what they're doing here. And then the Air Force says, hey, that's the dude. That's the guy who's supposed to be the one. He's the one put to save the day and, and, and stop this threat from pretty much taking over the whole entire world. We can't have that. He has to go. So whatever we gotta do to help him get there, because they took our hero, starting Star and Stripe. They took her. That's our best hero. So we gonna since he's the guy, we're gonna help him. And you they see you see them giving him a boost, helping him so he get there faster, so he can help help save the day. And so he finally gets there, and then he's like, he's like, I'm sorry I'm late. Traffic was crazy. I'm no, I know, I know, I know. This crazy girl grabbed me, and I, I had to get deal with that. I've got a strain order. I, I, a lot of things involved. I, I got my lawyer. And then he, then he looks around, and he sees everybody's all messed up. He's like, oh, crap. And he looks over there, and he said, right, oh, my gosh. And he's in the rabbit lady. Like, oh, my gosh. And then, over, then, then he turned over, and then he sees Baku go. Now, this is so interesting here. That he has already looked at the Baku go pretty much his whole entire life. All you want to do is be his friend. And Baku has put him down, constantly made fun of him because he didn't have a quirk, pushing him down constantly all the time. But then, slowly but surely, they, in a way, they kind of became friends in their weird situation, especially when Baku knows about the whole thing with, with um, All Might and how he got his quirk in the first place and, and how you try to make it as his as well, too. And, he, and the thing is, though, all he wants to see is Baku Deku improve so he can prove to him that he's number one. So he can challenge him and say, I'm number one. See, even with, uh, now that your thing is better, and so now, you got Deku knowing all this history they have between one another. All of that he sees Bakugo lying on the ground, lifeless, chest open, bleeding out, and he like this, what? And he he just, he just snaps and loses it. He loses it. Like, like he becomes like sort of in a way like a demon. His powers rise up to the roof, and like his eyes are glowing, flying flames coming out of his eyeballs. I mean, he looks insane. And then you got Lemillion over there saying, "Whoa, uh, ho, buddy." Oh, oh, I, 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 see, I, I understand how you, I know how you feel. I've seen it myself. I wish I could do more. I wish I could help you, but I can't. But you got to calm down. This is exactly what he wants you to feel. This is how he wants you to be, so you won't be thinking straight. And then you just lash out, and he can take, he can take advantage of that. We, you can't do that. You are our hope, dude. We held on as much as we could to make sure you can handle, take this guy out. You can't lose it right now. You can't. I understand, but you got to take this guy out. And just like that, like you might have got him back together. And then he went out, he went out to this guy. Using all the perks that do his disposal, to be able to take him out. The visuals of that, of that alone, especially the whole, the whole gear shift quirk that he was using, was just amazing. Use all the perks combining together as well, too. Using the, the power of all for one, smashing him down like that was just amazing as well. Finally, getting this chance to see him come together. Yes, there's, there's still a lot of threats out there. I mean, you still got Shoto and his brother. They kind of handle that situation. You got um, all for one. He's still he's back now with his new body, which is just insane. But for right now, we got to take out this threat here, and we can cut this thing out. We cut this thing that now we can probably serve the link between um, Sugar Rocky and the other Sugar Rocky, or I should, I should have just called him um, um Tenko um Shimura. That's his real name. But through, but through in the fighting as well, too, you still got Deco. He's conflicted here. He knows what he's supposed to do. He knows what he has to do. He even got the, all the, the past off of one tunnel of what he should do. He, he got he to kill this guy. That's the only thing you can do to stop him. He, 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 taking him in jail is not going to do it. You got to make sure he, he's, he's, he's gone. But you got Deco. He just wants to save him. Yeah, he wants to stop him. He wants to beat him. He wants to make him pay for what the things he has done. But he still sees him as that scared little boy trapped inside this thing. He's lashing out. He said he wants to save him as well, too. Now, is, 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 would he be able to do that? I don't know. 
But certain people who I who I was scared for at first, like Baka, like Bakugo, I'm not scared for anymore. I think he's gonna make a, make a recovery. I don't know how this is partly exploded, but uh, and it's sold it back together again. He got, got Ed shot still inside of his body, like trying to pump it back to, to, to the blood start pumping again. I don't I don't know how they gonna do this. Cause the thing is though, they gotta they gotta close up his his um his chest as well too. Also put his ribs back together and everything, and just to make sure that works. How that work? I don't I don't know. I I cause it, it, I'm I'm also, I'm also kind of conflicted about this as well too. Cause on one hand, I want Baka go back. I want him to live because he we watched we had watched because first of all he was not my favorite character. I thought he was very interesting, but I didn't like him. I didn't like him at all because he, he was mean to the guy who we were following, and I didn't like that. He's a bully, and I don't like bullies. But watching his growth, watching how he changed, even the relationship between him, between him and Deku, I would say they were friends in a, in a weird, twisted, kind of messed up way, but they are kind of friends now. And having seeing him actually gain respect for, for Deku, learn, under, under, get an understanding of how, how, his, how his body feels when he uses his quirk, when he, he pushes himself to the limit. Seeing how he like, looked out for everybody else as well, too, trying to make sure everybody gets safe as well, putting other people's lives ahead of his own. Instead of just calling those extras and stuff as well, too. And then he uses his quirk to, to the fullest, and you see him be actually truly be the hero. And then, so a part of you is like yes, I want to see him grow from here. I want to see his journey for if he's dead, it's not going to happen. So if he comes back, that can happen. But at the same time, his death can mean so much to, to the show, to the heroes, push their parents to a whole other level. It, it, can, it, can, it can have a bigger impact for, longer, for a long, long, long time. But eh, either way, I mean, if he stays dead, I mean, it's just, wow, it's kind of messed up. Like, wow, they, he, he went there. Like, oh, wow, that's okay. But if they bring him back, I'm going to be shocked by that. But And I won't, I won't hate it either, so I, I, I can feel it either way on both, both, both sides. Like, I'm also kind of afflicted on how um, um, Tenko feels. Shimaru, how Shimaru feels. Because he's fighting Deku with his, with his disadvantage. Deku's coming at him with full power, full power, charged up, ready to go, using all his quirks to his disposal. But Sh- Shimaro has not been using his quirks at all. He can't use his quirks because of Eraser Head and um and um and Phantom and Phantom Thief. He can't use his quirk because they, they stop him from using his quirk. So he's just been using his genetic enhanced body to pretty much stop the situation. And on one on one hand, in a way, it would be kind of fair. I mean, if, if he actually can use his quirk, because you're looking at him and say, I, I, I you, you're beating me up, you're knocking me down, and everything like that too. Good for you, but I can't use my quirk. Are you really a hero? Because those knuckleheads over there stop from using my quirk, so I should be using my quirk too. You use your quirk, I should be using my quirk. But but uh, but also on the other hand, you're the bad guy. Tough for you, man. Cry me a river. I don't care. Huh? You kill you 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 try to kill everybody here for your own amusement. This is who the, this is the tough, the tough you are. And so now you can use all your powers of the fool if you want to cry. I don't care. Don't care. Boo hoo. You going down? You got to go. You and your Fake father, whatever figure you, that you got in your life, because they didn't even love you. They were using you as, just using you as a tool, which is so messed up. Ever since you were a child, manipulated you, controlled you, manipulated. And then that he didn't even call you by your name. He, he, he's trying to make you trying to merge you and him as one person, which is just insane. No red flags there. Nothing. You don't see that as, as, as something weird. So, so sad. But the visual of, of this episode was just amazing. But to see Deco use his quirk and ability with this, was this great visual to look, to look at. The animation in this show has always been top notch as well. And the voice acting has been great as well, as well too. <sighs> Very exciting episode. Messed up episode, too, as well. Because as well. you, you're seeing hope coming. Finally, we've got some hope now. It makes things, things might finally might start to turn around. But at the same time, it's also still a major threat out there that has not been stopped or defeated. And who's to say he won't do like a, like what Shoto Brothers did and just come back like, like this. crap? Like how can we stop you? How? We throw everything at you in the kitchen sink and you're still here. Oh man. And uh, and also a, a little part of me is kind of curious. Let's just see what would happen if Richard Head and, and couldn't use the, couldn't stop him anymore. He actually used his quirk. What would that? How would that look? I mean, the visual of that alone would just be amazing. This is to watch the two powerhouses going against one another. And would Duck even have a chance? I mean, will he? 
I don't know. I mean, All Might, when he went for all, all for one, gave everything he had to, just, to stop him. He didn't really, really, he just temporarily knocked him out a little bit, but he didn't really put him down. Everything. He put like, all this, his whole quirk to do that. Would Duck Hunt do the same? I don't know. Uh, hey, but either who, great episode. Looking forward to see where it goes from here. If you haven't watched it, leave the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of My Hero Academia. And if you haven't watched, check it out. That's it. Haven't watched it. Check it out for yourself. Hope you watch it. You would enjoy having watched it too. So to give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shaboo, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Also, links down below. Connect to my social media. You want to follow me there? I really do appreciate it a lot as well too. And also to my store, my store, my shirts and socks, and those and whatnot. This is my um, I am the Ninja Rabbit shirt right here. See some stuff by myself. I really do appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams in my life, I am. The Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.